Awesome. And we are live. Good morning. Good morning for the morning stretch. We is indeed back. So this is how we will start today. We will start with ourselves getting on our knees. So with one knee and then whichever leg that you feel is going to be crossed over that knee. So the leg comes over the front of the body and you place your weight transferring it to the side of the leg, whichever leg that you've got in front of you. The trailing leg goes back, so that is key. Trailing leg goes way back. And then what we're gonna do with the hinge of the hip, we're going to allow the upper body to just travel itself low, down towards the knee. So we are hip hinging all the way down towards the knee. Your hands are gonna be placed in front of you, so they give you the stability that you require. So what you want at the end of this movement is your chest or your belly getting very, very close to your inner thigh. If you are super flexible, then your belly and your chest will rest on your inner thigh. And we are now in the pigeon stretch. This pigeon stretch is giving you an almighty stretch around the glute area which is known as the piriformis, lower back, hips, you might feel a little bit in your hamstrings, lats. And what we're gonna do in this position is get ourselves more settled. And how we do that is we introduce oxygen. So, all together, we will breathe in through the nose, it will last for four seconds. We will then hold the breath for four seconds, and then we will breathe out through the mouth for five seconds, and then we will hold for four seconds. We will do that twice, and then we're gonna swap legs. So when you're ready, we go in now, four seconds, four through the nose. We hold the breath for four, and then we allow the breath to escape for five, and as the air escapes, we can Allow our body to just stretch and flex a little bit more. We hold the breath for another four. And then we repeat, four, we go in. And then we hold for four, feeling the way the body is responding. And then we allow the air to escape for five. Again, settling our body even more, allowing that Flex and hold the breath for another four. And as we become present now with the breath, pay attention to your breath. As you put your hands in a position where you can leverage your upper body up, and what we're going to do is swap the legs over. Swap the legs over. So the leg that was out in front is now behind and it's trailing. So we want to get that knee right back. We want to have the knee out in front of us with the foot over our hips or under our hips and then what we're going to do with the hips is going to hinge forward so that we allow the upper body to travel itself right down so again you're in a position where your belly and your chest is very very close to your inner thigh you're resting on your elbows or you're resting on your hands depending how flexible you are really getting deep Opening up the hip flexor, piriformis, lower back, settling and just reconnecting, being present with your breath, paying attention to your breath, allowing the flex as the breath escapes, just feel the circulation going on right now. However you're feeling, just accept it, welcome it. Don't challenge it, it is your body doing what it needs to do. And we're gonna go through two more rounds of box breathing. Four in, four hold, five out, four hold. And we go in now, four through the nose. And then we hold the breath for four. And we allow the air to escape for five. As we allow the air to escape, just feel the muscles elongate. 
Hold the breath for another four. And we breathe in for four. Three, two, one. We hold the breath for four. Three, two, one. Allow the air to escape for five. Four, three, two, one. Holding the breath for four. Three, two, one. And just breathing as normal. Paying attention to your breath, feeling the stretches, allowing the body to reset, settle, open up its tightness. And then what we're gonna do is place our hands in front of us so we leverage our upper body up and we're gonna bring the leg that was across our body back so that both knees are aligned and we're in a tabletop position now with our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees, they are underneath our hips. And what we're gonna do is slightly bring our hands out, not too far out, midway between full extension and the original position. You're gonna push the ground away. As you push the ground away, your hips are going to retract back. Your upper body is going to lower itself down to the ground. And we're gonna be pushing the ground away until our upper body cannot go down any lower without feeling that almighty upper back stretch, without feeling that lower back open up. And we are now in the prayer stretch. So we're gonna take a moment being in this stretch. We're gonna take a few breaths in and out. We're gonna to go together. It'll be almighty breaths in, almighty breaths out, vocal. They'll go in and then they'll come out. So together, we're all gonna go in and we go in now. Big deep breath through the nose. And then expel that air through the mouth, make it vocal. Feel yourself just settle. Deep breath in through the nose. And then allow the air to escape through the mouth. Every time you allow the air to escape, feel your body just reset. Deep breath in through the nose. And then big vocal breath out. Deep breath in through the nose. And then vocal breath out, push the ground away. Just feel your body open up its tightness. One last big breath, we're gonna go in all together. Go in now. And then we allow the air to escape. And just be in that prayer stretch and pay attention to your breath. Just pay attention to your breath, feeling that stretch. And then what we're gonna do is transfer the weight. So whichever side of the body that you want, transfer your upper body weight towards whatever side that you have chosen. And you wanna get your upper body, your chest, traveling and then fixing itself to the inside of the arm feeling a little bit of tightness in the shoulder taking a deep breath and then recentering yourself take a deep breath right to the center and then as you allow the air to escape you are transferring the weight to the other side so you want your chest trapping itself very close to the inside of the arm that you are leaning towards. Take a deep breath through the nose, come to the center, and then allow the air to escape and push the ground away so you go into a deeper prayer stretch. And then what we're gonna do is come up so that our hands, they come back. So we're in the tabletop position as we're in the tabletop position, what we're gonna do is take a deep breath in through the nose and our upper back is gonna arch up. So we go into the cat stretch. So fuse your belly button to your spine, upper back gets rounded, lower back gets rounded, and we're gonna go into the cat stretch. And it's gonna take us five seconds to get into this stretch. So when you're ready, we go in now. Five, deep breath in, 
four, three. Round the upper back, fuse your belly button to the spine, round your lower back, and we are now in the cat stretch. We're gonna hold that stretch for another four, three, two, one. We're gonna allow the air to escape for five. As we allow the air to escape, we're gonna drop the lower back right down so our belly is hanging. We're gonna re retrude, retrude, there's no such word. We're gonna retract the shoulder blades back so that we are now in the cow stretch. Chin goes up, pay attention to your breath because you've probably lost the count. And what we're gonna do is take another deep breath in through the nose and we're gonna go back into the cat. And we're gonna do that five seconds. We go in now, five seconds through the nose, we go out, back up, into the cat. Hold the breath at the top, into the cat, feel the lat stretch. And then allow the air to escape for five seconds, we go back into the cow. Chin goes up, shoulders retract back, holding that breath for another five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in through the nose, go back into the cat stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Allow the air to escape, go back into the cow stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath for another five, four, three, two, one. One last time, five seconds, back into the cap. Really feel that stretch. Hold the breath, five. And we allow the air to escape, go back into the cow, five. And then hold the breath for another five. And just get back into the tabletop, pay attention to your breath. Just bring your hands further out again, midway between full stretch. And then your knees become the hinges and you lower your hips down so that your thighs are making contact to the floor. And make sure your thighs are on the floor, hips are just hovering themselves up from the ground and we are now in the cobra stretch. Being in the cobra stretch, you're feeling that tightness in the lower back that we're gonna open up with a quick prayer stretch. So you're going to push the ground away, hinge up the hips, make the knees be the pivot as we go all the way back now. Push the ground away, go back into the prayer, open up the lower back, feeling that open tightness of that lower back. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get back into the cobra stretch, back into the cobra stretch, and we're feeling a different sensation right now, feeling that flow. So we felt the dissolve, now we've got the resolve, and we're feeling the flow. One last time, push the ground away, hinging at the hips, allowing the knees to pivot back. We go into the prayer, opening up the lower back, upper lats, and then back down to the cobra one last time. And as we're in the cobra, we're gonna put our elbows on the floor. So we go into the sphinx, going into the sphinx. And then from the sphinx, what we're gonna do is allow our upper body to go right down, make contact with the floor. Your hands go directly underneath your shoulder blades as if you're gonna go into a press up position. You're going to turn your neck to one side, whichever side that you wish. On the same side as how you've turned your neck, you're gonna bring your knee up. So your knee is in line with your hips and your ankle at a 45 degree angle. And what you're gonna do is look at the hand that you've got in front of you and allow the hand to travel itself midway between full extension and original position. Your fingertips should be away from your body. You're gonna push the ground away with your palms and what that's gonna do is elevate your upper body, rotate your upper body, and you're gonna feel an almighty stretch on the opposite side, chest, shoulder, bicep. You're gonna feel a little stretch in the obliques. You might feel a little bit of tightness in your hips. Whatever you are feeling, just accept it, welcome it, 
Don't challenge it. It is your body doing what it needs to do for the stretch. Deep breaths. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Feeling that belly rise. And then feeling that belly fall. Every time you feel the belly fall, push the ground away a little bit more. Get a deeper stretch. We're going to do this for another 10 seconds. Concentrate on the breath going in with the belly raising. Concentrate on the breath coming out and the belly falling. Feeling everything that was once tense, loose and free. We're then going to bring the hand right back to the original position, turn our neck to the floor and then replace our knee back to the original position. So we're in that starting press up position. We're going to turn to the other side now. The knee is going to elevate again, the opposite knee. So it's in line with the hips and the ankle. And we're going to turn our hand and allow the hand to come out midway between full extension and the original position, pushing the ground away, torso gets twisted, upper body gets elevated, feeling that stretch in the clavicle, in the chest, in the shoulder area, bicep, feeling the obliques, the hips, whatever you're feeling, like the other side, we accept it, we welcome it, we champion it, we celebrate it. We don't judge it, we allow it to do what it's got to do. Taking those deep breaths in for another 10 seconds, breathing in through the nose, feeling that belly rise, allowing the air the escape through the mouth, feeling that belly fall. Just concentrating on your breath, feeling the stretch. And then getting back to the original position, bringing our hands back, underneath the shoulders, legs, straight. And then what we're gonna do is push the ground away. So we're going to a temporary cobra stretch. And then we're going to leverage ourselves up. So we're back into the tabletop. And we're gonna bring our knees right up as far as they can go. Dig your toes into the ground so that we can now bring our upper body up, make the spine nice and tall and we're gonna release our hands away from the thigh. We're gonna come right to the top, so we get a nice supine stretch. Dig your toes into the ground so that you allow a little bit of a lean back and you've still got stability. And then what we're gonna do is bring the hands down so that you feel that flow. Feel the way the body has responded to that open tightness. And the hands go down across the body and they crisscross all the way up again as they travel to the top, back into the supine. This time we're gonna grab hold of the elbow, any elbow that you wish, and we're gonna push the elbow down. As we push the elbow down, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. That will last for five seconds, and we go in now. Five, four, three, two, one. We hold the breath for another five, four, three, two, one. One, we allow the air to escape and we tilt the body to the opposite side. For five, four, three, two, one. We hold the breath for another five seconds, getting an almighty oblique ribcage stretch. And then take a deep breath in through the nose. It will be your breath going in. Allow the air to come into the body. Allow the air to come into the lungs and then Separate your hands away, bring them down either side of your body, big dome-like shape, and feel that flow. Feel that white, hot blood flow. And then we go right back up again to the top, supine stretch, grab hold of the opposite elbow, push the elbow down, take a deep breath in through the nose, and you'll go in for five seconds. Five, and then we hold the breath for five, feeling that tricep stretch. And then allowing the air to escape for five, tilting the body, feeling the obliques, rib cage, hips all open up. Holding the breath for another five. 
and then recentering yourself, being present with your breath, raising your hands up, and then allowing the arms to go down again, either side of the body, big dome-like shape, hip hinging, allowing the fingers to make contact to the floor, and then you're gonna push the ground away with your fingers, with your toes, so you go into a temporary floating tabletop where your knees are elevated up, you're feeling your obliques tighten up, and then what you're gonna do is continue straightening the legs, continue straightening the legs until your heels go flat or very near flat to the floor, and we are now in the downward facing dog. Being in the downward facing dog, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands. Walk your feet to your hands. And we're going to run our fingers over the top of the foot, running the fingers up the shin, slowly elevating our upper body, running our fingers over the knee, up the thigh, all the way to the top until we get a nice tall spine, releasing the hands away from the body, all the way to the top. So we go into an almighty supine stretch, feeling that body just open up its tightness. And then allowing the arms to travel down either side of the body, dome-like shape, all the way. We're gonna rotate twice. As the arms come down, you're gonna feel that flow. Feel whatever sensation that your body is giving to you, that gift, that package. Cross your hands either side of your body and return back up to the top to the supine, almighty stretch. Make that spine nice and tall and allowing that seed to plant in that mind of yours into the soil. Feeling whatever internal feeling that your body is giving you. Just one last time, we're gonna put, place our hands in front of our thighs. We're gonna hip hinge and we're gonna allow our hands to travel down the thigh, over the knee, down the shin, as far down as you can go, so that you can now feel how well your body has responded to the stretch. Right down, allow your upper body to round. It's in full protective mode. Nothing's gonna to happen to you apart from goodness. Just feel that stretch, just hang, in that stretched position, feeling that lower back open up, hamstrings, glutes, wherever you are feeling, it's your body responding in the best possible manner. And one last time, coming back up, hip hinging, all the way, running the hands up the inside of the calf, the inside of the knee, the inside of the thigh, transferring your hands to the front of the thigh, right to the top, big supine stretch, one last time, really feeling that open tightness. And just being as one with your body. Take a moment to feel the stretch. Take a moment to feel your greatness. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Thanking you, thanking you. Thank